What's up, Internet? Here at the uh, Grove, Los Angeles, the Grove Shopping Center. And I'm here with my friend Clinton Pickens. And what are we doing tonight, Clinton? Uh, we came out to see the crowd that's coming out of Sex in the City. <laughs> you just want to start in the back of the line? Uh, yeah, we'll go to the back of the line. And, uh, we got some girls here that are going to see it. And then... What's up? Hey, I'm Clinton. Hey. What's your name? Mark. Mark. Awesome. Hi, are you, uh... Are you here with somebody or what? Yeah. You're just like... Just hanging out? Yeah. Just guy night out. Well, are you... So you always want to see Sex and the City? Yeah. So you, uh... You paid money to watch Sex and the City? I just had dinner and a Cosmo. It was wow. awesome. Like, like, are you doing that? Like, you're just you're here by yourself? That's it? Do you mind me asking? Like, are you, are you gay? No. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, I don't, that, not that there's anything wrong with that. Just, just okay. Sex in the City. Mr. Big Gay? Mr. Big's a player. You're obviously uh, really confident. I'm here to see a good movie. So are you like a Sex in the City fan? Or oh, what's yeah. going on? I have all the seasons on DVD. Are you guys having like a bachelorette party or what? Yeah, Sex in the City. Well, you can't take the balloons in the theater. Oh yeah, we can. Like, how, how are you going to do that? We make we it. Are it. If you're not familiar with the scene of Karen and her balloons, you probably shouldn't be. No, I'm just kidding. Where, where do you go get a blue cup in the Grove? Oh like God, a... Are these guys with you? Okay, so what you're looking at right now is a lady who has her uh, Manolo Blahniks on before the show. Uh, you know, it's equivalent of a dude with a lightsaber in a Star Wars movie. I, know, I just think it's so appropriate that uh, the movie theater is right next to the Cheesecake Factory. So it's like, girls are going to go have a Cosmo, see the movie, and then go next door to the Cheesecake Factory and just start crying in their cheesecake. I will never be that thin! <laughs> Okay, so we found a dude here who's like by himself and he's just hanging out like there checking his watch, staring at the movie theater. So either I'm thinking his girlfriend's inside and he just said he'd meet her afterwards, you know, he can bring himself to do it, but uh let's see if the guy wants to talk to us. He looks pretty sweet. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, my name's Todd. Hey. What's up? What's going on? Uh, are you, are you waiting for somebody in the movie, or? Uh, I'm waiting for a lot of people in the movie, man. What are you, are you meeting, like, you're trying to figure it out. The only guy here by himself who's, like, looks like they're waiting on something, and uh, Sex in the City is going on right now. Yeah, bro, look around, man. Look what they got waiting for. This is prime picking homes. So you're really going to, like, hold out in chicks. That's why you're here. Yeah, I mean, that's why I like, came here. Did you plan it, or was it just like one of these things where... Yeah, I've been playing this for fucking years, bro. Ever since I first heard they were going to come out with the Sex and the City movie, I mean, I don't watch this fucking show. I was planning on going around telling girls that Carrie's going to die at the end of the movie. <laughs> what? I don't really know. I think she's, uh, the you think that would endear them to you? I mean, I hope so. I'm, I'm preparing them, you know? You're obviously rolling solo. Do you... I imagine you have friends. You're pretty with it. I got a crew. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't really like to get tied down at events like this because it's really hard to. Like, if I'm coming to something like this, I don't want, you know, a wingman to be fucking bringing me down, dude. That's the worst, man. You come, you're trying to pick up on some fucking biatches, and uh, you got a guy who can't really do it or doesn't like to fucking roll the same kind of cougs. Like, I'm, I'm going strictly the like Orange County Cougars, Valley Cougars, maybe West Side Cougars, although they don't really fucking get down as much, you know what I mean? Because the older thing, like, other girls are know they're going to fucking stay here and have a drink because it's like the drive is kind of long. So, it sucks. So, uh, West Side, they can just fucking finish the movie and go back home, you know? What's going on, Clint? Okay, so, we met our good buddy Rico here. Oh, but Fountain. The guy, um, if you don't mind me saying, he 
looks like he's got game, okay? He's awesome. He's got a game plan. He's out here and he's trying to beat ladies because it's sex in the city. And that's where the ladies come, like flies to the shit. To the shit. <laughs> like, Enrico like, is the shit. Enrico is the shit, apparently. And so we're gonna go talk to some girls and we're gonna watch him and we're gonna watch him like in action. Okay? So I see a girl on a bench right here. I don't know. Um I don't know if we can. Look, he's already made contact. He's already made eye contact. It's already happened. Like, do you think you can pull that down? Oh, give it a shot. So what's happening right now is Rico is talking to a girl, and we I, I literally kind of called the girl out, and I was like, there's this girl sitting here, and then he just, like, he walked in on her, and I kind of, we were making fun of him a little bit earlier. Yeah. I, I, I will go on record as saying, I'm like, this guy's probably not a hot chick with a douchebag. He seemed like a douchebag. The guy's working it. Um, just look. I had some skill. I, I feel like less of a man than I was walking in here. Sure. I just want, like, how do you feel on your manliness? I feel like, it, like Rico can just swoop in like a hawk. <laughs> I'm a little interested in seeing the movie. All this talk about it, to be honest. It's like, um, the Cedar's actually really good for that. Like, you can time the movies to where you can actually stay in for two ones. Or they, they, they like, stagger them really good. So if you want to wait outside for chicks and stuff, it's good like that. Like, you can catch a couple different shows without having to be out here too long. You know? Amazing. That is amazing. Goddamn right it is. Yeah. When the cougars got the elbow gloves, it means they give silky hand jobs. <laughs> 